dairy waste to power. Part 4 Biogas to Electricity The solid product of anaerobic digestion makes an excellent cow bedding material. The liquid product makes an excellent crop fertilizer. Now, what about the gaseous product of anaerobic digestion? That product is called biogas. As stated earlier, one of the products made by anaerobic bacteria in the digester is biogas. Biogas may be defined as the gaseous product resulting from the natural decomposition of organic material. In this case, the organic material is obviously cow waste. Anaerobic bacteria perform natural decomposition within the digester. In the end, the gaseous product is a mixture of mostly methane and some carbon dioxide. You may know that methane is the primary component of what is called natural gas. Natural gas heats many homes in northeast Wisconsin and is used just as much for heating water. No matter where it comes from, methane can provide power. Power to do a lot of things. In this case, it will provide the power to produce electricity. Biogas, by the way, isn't just made at farms with an anaerobic digester. Biogas is also produced at dairy farms without a digester as raw cow waste slowly decomposes. This happens both in the storage lagoon and then after it is applied to a field as fertilizer. This biogas is pretty much the same as the biogas that is produced in a digester. The difference is that this biogas is released to the air as it is produced. Released to the air, the methane component of biogas is a very potent greenhouse effect gas. Of course, on dairy farms with a digester, biogas is captured, kept out of the atmosphere, and put to good use. As it is produced, biogas naturally rises to the top of the digester. From there, it is pumped from the digester to a biogas-fueled electrical generator. Before we get to the electricity generation process, an element that may have to be removed from biogas at this point is sulfur. If its concentration is too high in the biogas that is produced, it will harm the engine that drives the electrical generator. In some settings, a scrubbing step will have to be added to the process to remove the sulfur before it reaches the engine. After scrubbing, if it's necessary, Biogas will be pumped to the engine. A biogas-fueled electrical generating system works much like one that is fueled by gasoline. A measured amount of biogas and air is injected into the combustion chamber of an engine. A piston compresses the mixture. The mixture is then sparked, driving the piston up, which turns a crankshaft that extends into an electrical generator. Finally, the crankshaft spins a rotor within an electromagnetic field, which generates electric current, electricity. In this case, it's renewable electricity.
Of course, a biogas-powered engine must be able to burn a gaseous fuel rather than a liquid fuel like gasoline. It must also be able to efficiently burn a mixture of mostly methane that contains some carbon dioxide, the mixture of gases making up biogas. Today's biogas-fueled engines are designed to efficiently burn this mix. What are the advantages of using biogas in this way? We avoid a negative. Methane, an extremely potent greenhouse gas, is not released to the atmosphere. We take advantage of a positive. Methane biogas is burned to produce useful electricity. The primary component of biogas, methane, is a relatively clean burning fuel. This is especially true when it is compared with burning coal. And finally, biogas is a fuel that comes from a renewable, sustainable Wisconsin resource, cow waste. In the process of burning biogas, heat is also produced. As you already know, that heat isn't wasted. It's used to heat the digester. This is another green design feature in the story of turning dairy waste into power. In the end, electricity is produced. How much renewable electricity is produced by the generator? Naturally, the answer will depend on the size of the dairy farm operation. However, you may use this as a guide. The waste from a single dairy cow generally produces enough biogas through the process of anaerobic digestion to make 6 kilowatt hours of electricity each day. That means a 2,000 cow dairy farm using an anaerobic digester will produce about 12,000 kilowatt hours of renewable electricity each day. Let's put those numbers into perspective. An average family will use about 30 kilowatt hours each day to power all of their residential electrical needs. That means a 2,000 cow dairy farm with a digester powers the equivalent of about 400 Wisconsin homes with renewable electricity each day. Enough electricity for 400 homes and not one particle of coal from Wyoming is burned. Such a farm usually produces that much renewable electricity each day too. This process is remarkably reliable. Biogas yet another sustainable green asset produced through the anaerobic digestion of cow waste. And just in case you missed it, biogas power comes from a renewable resource, and that resource is produced right here in Wisconsin. We're near the end of this pathway, where does all of the renewable electricity produced go? It goes into the electric grid. Any dairy farmer who decides to invest in an anaerobic digester will produce electricity on a moderately large scale much more electricity will be produced than can be used on the dairy farm, about twice as much. In this situation, the farmer usually buys the electricity needed for dairy farm operations from the local or regional energy utility, just as any other farmer does. The farmer signs a contract with the energy utility essentially selling their electricity to them. Wisconsin Public Service has several contracts like this with dairy farms. The electricity produced through the process of anaerobic digestion is then transmitted into the local electricity grid. You're using some electricity produced on a dairy farm with an anaerobic digester 
right now. Let's summarize a few important facts about digester-produced electricity. It's produced 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, from cow waste. It's produced by burning methane biogas, a relatively clean burning fuel. The methane that's burned would otherwise be released to the air acting as a powerful greenhouse effect gas. The electricity produced is made right here in Wisconsin from a Wisconsin resource. All of the dollars that are part of these energy transactions stay right here in Wisconsin. This is not the case with most of the resources we use in Wisconsin to make electricity. Finally, most of the resources we use to make electricity are non-renewable energy resources. The electricity made from biogas through anaerobic digestion comes from a renewable energy resource, cow waste. Wisconsin cows produce the products that make us the dairy state. The very same Wisconsin cows can now make us more energy secure and environmentally responsible through the technology of anaerobic digestion. To conclude the story of anaerobic digestion, please make your way to Part 5 Conclusion